Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a fruit splash effect using Blender. I will briefly summarize how to make it easy for you to imagine. First I cut the fruit into two parts. Then add a layer of liquid in the middle, gravity is removed. To get the water moving, I added a hexagon to the liquid. This hexagon moves, causing the liquid to shoot out. In the video tutorial we'll detail how to do and how to solve the problems encountered. In this tutorial, I only show you how to create effects, not how to create fruit. Let's go into the details. I used the sphere to simulate a fruit. First, divide the fruit into two halves. Select the wire edges display mode to be able to select the hidden faces behind, choose the face select mode and scan to select half of the fruit. I cloned the fruit, proceeded to create two halves of the fruit. The selected edge does not contain the boundary line, so you will delete the edge. You already have two halves that offset each other. Now I create a liquid face between these two halves of the fruit. Duplicate the cross section of the fruit and split it into a new object, name it liquid. I added the liquid quick effect to it. Adjust the fluid domain for a snug fit. You choose the folder to store the cache. If you leave the default, Blender will save to the drive containing the operating system, the cache capacity is quite large. Remove gravity or the liquid will flow down. Tick select mesh. My effect is around 100 frames. I press bake. Bake is the act of pre-computing water operations to speed up processing when you preview or render. Any changes will only take effect after you press bake. No water at all, that's because my liquid is so small, you have to increase resolution divisions, of course this will take you longer to bake. I skipped the waiting part for the bake process and here is the result, water appeared and stood still. I need an agent to make the fluid move, I will create it now. In order for this hexagon to work with liquids, you must choose its fluid type to be a vector. At the time of the 20th frame I rotated the hexagon 180 degrees. In order for the changes to be applied, you must free bake and bake again. Bake takes quite a while so I'll skip the wait and just show you the results. Water shot out but it seemed out of control. My idea is to make the two halves of the fruit a fluid effector so that the liquid just shoots out in the form of a disc. 
I clone two fruit halves to do that and will delete after bake. Bake again in here is the result. The shape of the water can be changed by changing the spacing of the two halves of the fruit or the size and movement of the hexagon. Now I delete these two halves of the fruit while also hiding the hexagon. Adjust the two halves of the fruit so that the liquid sits right into the cut. When the liquid began to shoot out, the upper half also began to rise. I added the environment to get the light. Does not display the photosphere of the environment. Render cycles. Change the color of the liquid. After checking the animation of the video, I render to an MP4 file. Choose where to save the file, name the file. Choose the format and output. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.